in the office at the moment, uh, working on the next video from a trip away up north. Um, hopefully should have that one finished for next weekend. But a couple of weeks ago I asked if you guys would be interested in seeing a rundown video of our backpacks. Um, I put it up on Facebook and Instagram pages and a uh, heap of people wanted to see what we take on these big walks. Um, so I won't go through the camping gear that we take when we stay out there for multiple days, but I'll just go through the fishing gear and how we go through that. So we'll go to the fishing room and I'll run through the backpack. House is an absolute mess at the moment. i am renovated my kitchen, replaced it. I've got crap everywhere. It's a mess. And I've only just got around to tidying up my fishing room. So this is my fishing room. Have all the rods sitting in a couple of racks there. All my trays, my angles and some boxes and stuff. Shelf with all my leaders, a couple of memorabilia stuff, everything all ready to go. Real case, all the reels. And then the lure wall. Ours is most of my lures. My GT lures are uh, in the cupboard in there, but this is pretty much all of the lures I use all the time. There is stick baits, vibes, spare hooks, always have spare hooks for everything um, change everything over as soon as I buy it to BKK so there's packs of trebles here ready to go a heap of bait hooks to replace um, squid jigs and jigs down there little lures a heap of plastics get us out of trouble we'll grab the backpack out now um, and I'll run through what we generally take on a day out on the rocks so it sort of depends on where we're going and what we're chasing but i'll go through setups um what we take if we're chasing samson fish the bigger walks where we take less gear so i'll go through i'll pack it how i normally would um and then i'll show some extra stuff on the side that we take if we need it depending on what we're fishing for every day is different but there's a there's a heap of general stuff that we take every time we go so I'll have that all sorted and we'll do a bit of a rundown. Alright, got our bag all packed. This is pretty much what we take on a day trip out, out fishing on the rocks on the south coast. So if we did want to go for a camp mission, we'll be taking mattress, sleeping bag, tent, and a tarp to lay it down. That's got to fit in there as well if we wanted to go for a camping mission. So this bag is getting too small. Aaron's got a massive hiking bag, makes that heaps easier. But that's the extra stuff we've got to take if we want to stay the night. Chuck that down there. Sweet. All right, I'll go through the stuff behind me and then we'll run, run through the bag. Got our rods all wrapped up. Always use rod wraps and always in their cases so they don't get caught on trees and branches and things as we're walking through. They can get caught and snapped. So they always go in their bags, always rod wrapped. If we are taking the pole gaff, there's only one pole gaff that we use that we trust with fish. It's the Busted Fishing 21 foot. Uh, this one's the ultimate custom, I believe. So we'll rod wrap the rods to this if we are taking that. Otherwise, we'll be taking the cliff gaff, which is the rope gaff, with the four prongs. Heaps of people ask about this in the videos. Um, I see it in use, slides down over the head of the fish and lifts it up, caught a cliff gaff or a flying gaff over here. Um, we use them heaps off the rocks. So, yeah, if we're taking the pole gaff, uh, we've got the gaff hook, that's in the bag as well. Don't want to be hooking ourselves while we're walking. So they just get wrapped up. The rods get wrapped to it. Normally don't take this many rods, but there's four rods here. We normally take two, two or three at the most setups. Um, sometimes on the really big walks we'll only take one. If we're only taking one, it's normally a croak mission. So we've just changed over to all dialer rods. If I was going on just a grow permission, I'd be taking that one. 
the Spartan six to eight, eight four five. So that's our heavy, heavy rod, 80 pound. Um, the next one, 50 pound setup, we use that a lot. This is the Spartan four to six. So take them and then we've got 20 pound. That always comes or possibly lighter just for collecting herring for light baits. This one's a CG get 305. It's our 20 pound setup. And then on some days we'll take just the 80 and then the 30 for fun. So that's the 315 CG, which is a 30 pound rod that we run. So that's the four rods that we pretty much use when we're rock fishing. There's not too many more that we need. That covers everything from 20 through to 80 pounds. And it'll catch us, break sea cod right up to huge big grouper. Oh, right. Let's see what's in this. We'll start ripping this apart, laying everything out, show you what I've managed to fit in here and what we take on a day out. Cliff gaff with 20 meters of rope. That gets brought most missions um, if we're not taking the pole gaff. So that gets tied to the outside of the bag. The cliff gaff. And in the middle of the bag, I've got early bag and rope. Um, we'll also put in the middle here normally two to five kilos of burley as well. So whether that's muleys or fish frames or something to put in the bag just to attract fish to the ledge that we're fishing. Always the life jacket, the PFD. So these are the Crusader ones. And then gaff hook for the pole gaff if we are taking that. Right. I've got all four reels in the bag. Like I said, we normally won't take that many, probably only two, maybe three combos at most. So reels go in their cases as well to protect them. They get bumped around in the bags, we fall over from time to time, but they're always well protected in their neoprene cases. If your reels don't come with them, I recommend buying them um, or wrap them in a shirt or something like that just to keep it protected. You don't want to be damaging um, these on the way out and then you get out there and then can't fish the day because your reel's been damaged as you've fallen over on the rocks or something like that. So, 20 pound reel is the Exist 4000. 30 pound is the Certate 5000 LT. 50 pound is 8000H Saltiga, the new 2020. And I'm running P6 or P8 on a 14,000 Saltiga. So that is for the heavy groper stopper rod. Reel's probably a touch small. Um, I'll see how I go. I'm gonna hopefully try and use that. But if it, if I do lose too many fish or it just doesn't, it isn't up to the task, then I'll be getting an 18,000 and running P8, P10 on that to really stop big groper if I lose too many. But I'm pretty confident the 14,000 is gonna be able to do it and do it well. Right. Below that, we got drone, um, and then all of our camera stuff. So that has two GoPros, spare batteries, memory cards, all of the cords, mounts, um, a big battery pack to charge batteries while we're out there. That also charges the drone batteries and charges our phones when we are out there. I get at least a weekend out of all of the batteries if they're fully charged before we go. So that's how we that case and the drone case is how we get all of our footage to show you guys what we've actually been up to. So they're a need to have for us so that we can show you guys what we get up to. Waterproof bag. So this is just a dry bag, HBA one. Um, if we've got rain or anything like that, or we're likely to get wet, we put all the camera gear, phones, keys, stuff like that all goes in the dry bag so it stays nice and sealed. Don't want to be ruining any of our electronics. A couple of trays. We'll go through them in a minute. So. Selection of liters. So we don't need this many. This is if we were taking all four of the reels. 
So 140 pound, normally use that for our slide baiting, Samson fish, that's more than enough for Samson fish. 50 pound leader goes on the 20 pound outfit. Um, we use this for plastic, small lures, things like that. Do get the odd big fish on it from time to time. Um, mostly we get smoked, but we have landed some good fish on 20 pounds, some good big Samson fish and things like that on plastic. 80 pound leader for the 30 pound combo. Now, there's no such thing as overkill for this. So for a lot of people, this might seem ridiculous to run these heavier leaders on that lighter main line, but the leader is what saves us and lands us so many fish with it rubbing over the rocks, dragging backwards and forwards. So we need that heavier leader to begin with a chance of landing the fish. There's another roll 150, that's Samson fish, same thing. Then for chasing groper, we don't bother with anything less than that. 200 pound leader. You will lose fish on 200. They are absolutely ruthless on your gear. So 200 pound is the only way that you're gonna stop something really, really big. And with groper, you don't know whether you're gonna hook an eight kilo fish or you're gonna hook a 28. It, you do not know. And you don't wanna be messing around with light gear because even a 10, 15 kilo fish is going to mess your day up if you're not prepared. So go over kill. You're gonna need it. If you hook that big fish, you want every chance of stopping it. And then I've just got a spool of uh, 40, 50 pound mono. This is just for down to the sinker droppers on our leader. So if we do get snagged, we just lose the sinkers. We don't lose the whole rig. So this is just cheap mono that we keep in the bags. That's all the leaders that we take, um, depending on the day. If we're going somewhere where we can't slide bait or we can't fish for groper, we obviously don't need all of those, but that's just the rundown on what we, at a minimum, we take for each combo. Right. So, in one of the front pockets here, we've got a little brag mat, a lighter, it's always good to have one, and a knife, so bait knife, um, bleeding fish, whatever you need. Next pocket, these are all little zipped up compartments. So we've got a heap of pre-made rigs, saves time when we're out there. They're all little sandwich bags, so these ones are all our slide bait rigs. So they're ready to go with the rig all booked up, ready to chuck a live herring on and slide it down to chase Samson fish. All right, that's it for the main part of the bag. We would also have water and food in there. The pockets on the side, I normally run my water bottles in. Um, so I have two bottles of water, minimum three liters of water we take with us on a day out. And then also food for the day. And if we're camping, we've obviously got to have a little freezer bag with ice in it on top. So we normally take one bottle as frozen water, one bottle as fresh water to drink for that day. Um, and there's heaps of streams and springs that we fill the water bottles up along the way, but it just means a whole lot more stuff to take when we're staying overnight. Front of the bag, just little bits and pieces. So we'll take some packs of plastics. Always take plastics because they're easy and we've got a few packs, packs there. So five to seven inch plastics. Mostly we run seven inch. So they're our favorite. Be giving these a go through the next few months. Headlamp, it's normally dark when we start walking so we've got it on, but always take a headlamp. It's always handy. And pliers and braid scissors. So, can never have too many pairs of braid scissors. You always lose them, so we've got a couple of pairs there. And a set of pliers, they're split ring pliers as well. Always handy. What else we got in here? Garbage bags, we put our fillets in garbage bags. Um, we never carry the whole fish out, it's just too heavy. So we fill the fish up on the rocks, which is the next part, filling knife, and the garbage bags. So we put our fillets in the garbage bags. If we're staying overnight, we've got the cooler bags with the ice in it, and we'll put our fillets in that bag and then carry them out. If we're just going for the day, keep the fish cool and fill them up and then walk out with the fillets in the bag and we've got an esky waiting in the car. Okay, that's everything out of the backpack. So, 
holds down pretty small once you've got everything out of it, but you can see there's a heap of stuff that we make get in it. With these trays, this is the most important bit for us. So, trying to make everything as light as possible is the aim of this game. So, in the trays we've got a selection of hooks and swivels, things that we're likely to need, stuff we don't need gets taken out, only things that we're going to need for that trip will get left in there, um, make it as light as possible. The other tray, this one's got a bit of every, everything in it, so always take a couple of lures for the Samson fish. So, got a good stick bait, popper, Samson fish, kingfish, love them. Can never go wrong with a minnow, something like the X-Raps, something that casts really far, shallow diving, works great. Normally mid-sized stick bait for the 30 pound outfit. It's always good to have a couple of them. Heap of plastic jig heads. These do get heavy. Um, we run quite heavy ones between one and three ounces because we're casting a long way, fishing into very deep water that's very stirred up. So we're running big jig heads that are heavy. We're slide baiting, we'll take grapnel sinkers to grab onto the reef on the bottom and hook up. So normally take four of them as a maximum, anything more than that starts getting really heavy because they are five to eight ounces each. So I've got four in there. Some spare slides, uh, if I don't have enough rigs made up, always take some spare slide bait clips. Eight ounce or six ounce sinkers. These are for grouper fishing, bottom fishing with baits. Um, just a three-way swivel and the hook rig. The standard rig that we use will run some six ounce, eight ounce sinkers for casting baits for grouper, dewfish, snapper, things like that. And last but not least, a few little metals. These are how we catch our herring. So just a little 10 to 20 gram metal. We run them, cast them on the 20 pound rod, and that's how we collect our herring for live baits, fresh baits, things like that. So they are a must. Always take a few of them. They're really good to have. That's everything that we fit in this bag. So Aaron's got a big hiking backpack. I've just got this one for now, but I will be upgrading because I'm running out of room with this. It's too small, can't carry everything that I need, and it hurts after carrying this across the countryside for hours and hours and hours. So I'll be upgrading to a better backpack, but something like this will get you started. Everything you see in front fits. Um, don't take all of the gear that we've got here. It depends on the day. So if we're going just for groper, we're only gonna take, um, we're not gonna bother with too many lures. We're not gonna bother with the slide baiting stuff. We're just gonna take the heaviest gear that we've got. There's no point messing around with anything lighter. So if we're just chasing groper, just do that. If we're going to a spot where there's no grouper and it's just Samson fish, um, we'll be taking just lures and slide baiting gear and that will just take what we need to target for the day. If we're going to a new spot and we're unsure, um, we always take a slide or two as a minimum, a lure or two, and then a few plastics and bait fishing gear, just a selection of little bits and pieces, not everything, but just a couple of each thing just so we can sort of figure it out. Sometimes we walk to spots and we can't even fish them anyway. Um, we've walked hours to get to somewhere and there's nowhere safe to fish, so we just have to turn around and walk back. It's just part of it. So we try and take a bit of everything just in case. We'll normally take two rods on a day like that, something light, something heavy. Um, so either the 50 or the 80 pound and probably the 30 pound. Wouldn't bother with the 20. It's just too light to land stuff on an exploring sort of mission. Yeah, that's pretty much everything that we have in the bags. If you guys got any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Um, we'll do a big run through of all of the camping gear when we're out on the rocks. We'll run through everything that we take for the camping and how we go about doing that and staying out on the rocks for a couple of days. So, cheers. Thanks, guys.